What's up everybody? I'm Chris. We're here at Rio on Cape Hatteras and we're checking out the 2016 Slingshot Asylum. The Asylum's been in Slingshot's lineup for a few years now. It's designed to perform at the highest level of freestyle, wake style riding. But what we love about this board is it's also really accessible and riders of a lot of different skill levels can enjoy it. So when we look at the Asylum, first thing that jumps out at me really beautiful graphics this year. There's been awesome graphics on the Asylum the past few years. It's been cool to watch that progression. We're always stoked when the new ones come out. The board is set up with Slingshot's fast track mounting system, so you're not forced to hit a certain bolt hole when you're putting your foot straps or boots on this board. You can adjust down to the millimeter the width of your stance, um, so it's totally customizable, and we really love that about the fast track mounting system. The rails of this board are impact resistant and really durable, so they're designed to take a beating, built slingshot tough. The bottom of the Asylum has some really beautiful and complex channeling, both in the tips and here in the rail. So the board can be ridden with or without fins. We've seen real team rider Eric Reinstra go crazy in the real slider park on his Asylum, so you can still take the fins off, ride sliders at the highest level. But if you're just cruising in the water without any obstacles or you want a little bit of help going upwind, the board does come stock with these two inch slingshot fiberglass fins. They give you really good grip and they help the board go upwind. When you're trying the Asylum, try it with fins, try it without fins, see what works best for you. A little bit of insider info on the board. It's got a progressive rocker line, so it is going to give you great pop and great landings. A lot of people are going to immediately think, progressive rocker, okay, this board's only for advanced riders. Not true. An intermediate rider is going to have a great time on the Asylum, or even some beginners, especially if you already have some wakeboard or board riding experience. It's totally possible that once you're getting your first rides, you can pick up the Asylum as your first kiteboard that you own from just getting started and progress all the way up to the highest levels. So that's one of the things that we love about the Asylum. It's got those performance characteristics, but it's not for advanced riders only. Another little bit of insider info, the Asylum is pretty generous with the width on all of its different sizes. It comes in 134, 138, and 141, and all the sizes are pretty generous with the width. The width might be a little challenging to ride toe side if you're a really lightweight rider. If you're not a featherweight or if you already have a little bit of wakeboard experience, it's not going to be any problem, but worth noting, there is some extra width on this board. So who is the Asylum for? I can't say it enough. In my opinion, the board is for a huge range of riders, all the way from really advanced riders, expert riders, down to a beginner that has some board riding experience or might be progressing quickly already. So check out the 2016 Asylum, you can learn more online at realwatersports.com.